like to show you the sometimes not used feature in SOLIDWORKS, the configuration table. Sometimes it's not focused on very highly, but here at Trimec, we like to use it to make quick use of creating configurations that might be kind of complicated, like the one we're seeing here. Just real quick, I want to go over the design intent that we're talking about. I'm taking this speaker housing, and I want to have different tweeter speakers that are going to be used for each one of these different series. So for the 100 series, I'm using one that's called rounded, and for the 200 and 300, I'm using a rectangular one, and the 400, I'm using a dome. And the difference between the 200 and 300 series is the difference of one dimension, going from 20 to 15 millimeters. So let's create this in SOLIDWORKS using a configuration table. In order to create a table, the easiest way to do it is to pick your geometry, and then including a, a sketch that's going to include my dimension, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to configure feature. This is how you bring up your table. Now once you have your table created, you're going to want to name it. It doesn't matter what you name it, but as long as you give it a name and save. Now you'll be able to come back into this table anytime you want. So let's take a look at some of the features of the table. It's basically a chart where down on this column we're going to have the names of the configurations and each of the other ones are going to have the names of the features I've picked. So if I say, oh, you know what, I didn't want this sketch, I can come in here and say delete. So I can always remove anything I might have added. But in reality, I do want that sketch. I don't want to have to suppress it, which was the option that was given, but I do want to be able to access this dimension. So to get it back, while the table's open, you can always come into your feature tree here and double click on anything that you want to add to your table. So I wanted to add this sketch back. So let's do um, change this from suppressed to the actual dimension that I want. So if I hit this drop down key here, it highlights the different dimensions. We can see on my feature, my uh, part on the side here, it highlights the different dimensions I can choose for this. I can choose them all if I want, but I really just want this dimension here. So I'm gonna check it off. And now it's in the column as I want it. I don't need this suppress tab, so I can delete that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create my new configurations using these settings that I have here. I'm going to be suppressing and unsuppressing certain tweeter cuts, and I'm going to change the dimension to the one that needs the, the uh, configuration with the different dimension. So let's start creating. It's really fast and easy to do. All I'm going to do is start typing the names. 100, 200, 300, 400. Now I have four different extra configurations that I didn't have before. And I can see this in my configuration tab that they are now all new and created here. They're based off of the default because that's the one that's highlighted and active. So if I wanted to change the configuration to the active configuration, I double click on it in my tree, in my uh, table here. So for the 100, I want to make sure I'm using the one called rounded. So let's just double check that. This is the one I want. So see on the side here. So that means I don't want the other two. So I'm going to suppress these two. I'm going to go through the others the same way. So for 200, I want the rectangular. So that means I want the other two suppressed. Same for the 300. Then for the 400, I want the dome. It's not easy to see here, we're only getting a piece of that to display, but that's the one I want. We'll see when we we'll finish. I'm gonna get rid of the rectangular and the rounded. And now the difference between the 200 and the 300 is just this dimension that I brought in. So I'm gonna change this to 15. And I'm gonna hit apply to all this. And so far, the only thing that I saw change is since I made this my active configuration, I do see that the 100 looks okay. So I'm going to save my table one more time. It's a very good idea to keep saving as you go. I'm going to leave my table, and let's go and check through the configurations to see that I got it right. My favorite way of doing this is using the configuration toolbar. So I'm going to go through. So the default has all the cuts. 100 has just the rounded. We can see that it's great. Uh, the other two are suppressed. 200 has just the rectangular, 300, 400. I hope this has been something you can use and you'll find available for you to use in your time when you're using SmallWorks. Thank you.